This is what can happen when you don't buckle up in the back seat. This family of three was thrown around when the cab they were riding in was hit by another car. In this video, the woman on the right is wearing a seatbelt. The woman on the left is not. And in the accident, she's thrown across the cab. People are less likely to buckle up when they're in the rear seat. Jessica Jermakian co-authored a new report from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The survey found while 91% of people always use their seatbelt in the front, only 72% use it in the back seat. And that number drops to 57% when traveling in cabs and ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft. Uber driver Dustin Goodsell says people often don't buckle up on short trips. I usually will say something like, uh, I noticed that you're not buckled. I, th I think it'd be a good idea to be buckled. Experts say riding without a safety belt puts not only the backseat rider at risk, but also people in front. In this test video, the person unbuckled in the back slams into the driver during an accident. We know that drivers are twice as likely to be fatally injured when the passenger behind them is unrestrained. Jermakian wants more automakers to install the same belt reminders cars have in the front seat for people in the back as well. She believes it could get more riders to buckle up and help prevent injuries. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut are among 29 states that have laws requiring people in the back seat to buckle up. That's compared to 49 states that have laws for front seat belts.